Okay, in this lesson, I want to um, sorting the depths of this scene to better understanding the depths and import, uh, for example, a simple shape or character here to defining which part is far from camera, which part is near to camera and sorting them. Um, okay, uh, as you can see, this scene has in a group. I prefer to bring all of them out of the group the you can manage them individually better and you can delete that group again and as you can see um all of our objects uh, going back to a original uh, position original scale you can uh, select all of them and you have to uh, scale them individually it's a scale indiv individually as you can see it's interesting Okay, so you can scale it and then reorganize your scene. Okay. <clears throat> Deselect in a layer. Nice. Okay, for selecting uh, one by one, uh, you uh, I want to give you a nice trick. Holding Alt, right click. Oh, this is a group. Sorry, this is a group. Selected group here bring it there uh, alt light, right click alt right click you can select any object in any layer <clears throat> nice and you can organize it very fast alt right click as i said before in a moho you cannot just click and uh moving the object as you can see you cannot select it in here you have to find it there but you can alt right click to select it directly from viewport nice trick alt right click and then organize it alt right click this is our tree alt right click this is our another tree here for cleaning up the scene you can go to the view and show only output i just want to see output uh, separate sep uh, to the two view selecting that and orbit click and as you can see there are all our scene are flat and we want to organize them you have to organize your scene in a 2d and in a 3d view and the layering system here as you can see it's a nice it's a background our background is at the zero position our background tree is okay the zero position I want to this tree, this tree go near to the camera. And let's see. Uh, Alt right click. Going to the layer selection, Alt right click. This is our tree. Oh, because uh, it's a uh, tree and it's leaves, I select all things here. Okay, select it. I want to this uh, tree uh, come to near our camera and it's at a uh, high level because for example i want to hmm, let's let's bring a simple shape going to the this scene be careful that you are not in a animation mode you are in a zero and select some of these layers Okay, as you can see, all of these three layers are uh, image. And as you can see, we don't have our main tool. So you need to uh, insert a vector. This is our vector. This is our uh, character. I call it our character. And as you can see, all of our main tools are there. And this is our simple character. I insert our character. This is nice. Okay, this is our character. And I want to this character uh goes behind uh, this tree in a layer so <clears throat> i want to this tree go uh, come sorting near to the camera and also you need to organize it here bring it all about the character and it's it's fixed that issue as you can see character go behind that. nice and another thing that i want uh for example i want to animation our camera i want to see this um <clears throat> camera in a 3d direction 
uh, you select it. As I said before, you can change the Z direction of that. I like this Z direction. But you can see if I um, <clears throat> bring it near to the camera, look at it to 2D, uh, the uh, camera are changing its case and make it bigger and bigger. But I don't want that. I want to, you, for example, you bring your tree near Kiri and of course it's make it bigger and bigger. So I have to manually make it smaller and change its uh, orientation again and doing that. But if you want to suffer does this process automatically for you, control Z, control Z, control Z, I make the Z zero again. <clears throat> I want to change the Z direction of this tree and uh, come near of the camera and also its uh, scale does not change I, uh, into 2D, but in a 3D it's automatically changed. As I said before, you can holding Alt left to the right and <clears throat> uh, up and down, you can change the Z direction, up and down. But I give you a trick, holding Alt and then Shift click and drag to the left to the up and down as you can see what happened it's bring this camera near it's this tree near the camera and automatically scale it down and as you can see you cannot see any changes in a um, <clears throat> 2d oh begin again begin near the camera and as you can see it's coming near to the camera and is scaling down automatically holding alt shift and you can see any changes in a 3d and here you can uh, change the z direction of your camera yeah as you can see change the z of direction camera and it goes in this direction nice For example, do you want to animate the camera going behind that or something like this? Okay, so uh, you have to sort your 3D and also in here. Okay, this is our character. <clears throat> I'm going to select the layer of that. Holding Alt to the left to right, you can change the Z of that to the up and down. Nice. This is a right orientation of that. Nice. And you can uh, change orientation of all of this, uh, sort of all of these, but do not uh, doing uh, uh, activating this. Um, double click on your layer sitting image. What was that? No, it's in general. No, it's nice. It's just only, I think, for uh, going to the 2D. Oops, reset view to the 2D. Where was that? Quick setting. No. Double click. No. This is our character double click 3D option. Okay. Why is that? Because I think I'm not in a right tool, 3D option. No, okay. <clears throat> so sorting your objects uh, also in a 3D view and also in a, this layer manager. The layer that you want to near to camera, for example, this tree, and the character is going behind that tree, walking behind that, if you want something like this make the character um, the lower hierarchy of that main tree and for example our moon, our moon is in the background yeah make it uh, as possible near the this is a background this is our tree the sort all of your scene based on your desire uh, in a 3d for example do you want to this tree go back of the character bring it exactly at, at the lower hierarchy in layer manager here so we can understand it 
So uh, this layer manager and the 3D uh, change, sorting the depth is very important. Don't forget that. <clears throat> okay, we are going to the this mode, and as you can see, you can right click and uh, what does it mean? Pan and tilt. Yeah, and as you can see, you can see. Yeah, click and drag. You can see that uh, here we can changing around scene and look at the scene if you want. But our scene is small. Uh, another interesting thing that I want to explain to you. For example, you want to maintain the background and the trees uh, in a in their in their position. I just, uh, I mean, I want to, if I rotate our camera view, for example, I want to all of our background maintain their inter position. Uh, background, back trees, moon, they want to stay in position. Double click on your uh, layer sitting, and here I want to explain, I want to activate immune to camera. It means if you change your camera, your uh, layer that you active the sitting maintain its its position and does not change up okay and as you can see in a 2d in a 3d it's maintained at the background don't worry about that the 2d view is important uh, back trees for example immune to the camera again hit okay as you can see it's mute to camera and the moon i want to doing that don't worry about 3d it's 2d mode as you can see they are staying in position and if I, as you can see, if I change our uh, camera view, the layer that you set to immune, immune to the camera, they maintain it their position and uh, does not change. Nice. If you I rotate our camera view with a pan or tilt. And don't worry about the 3D. It's not important. Everything is correct can orient in 3d so you learn if you want to sort your 3d uh, be careful about uh, the if you want to sort it it's sorted in a 3d and also sort it in a layer manager to uh, uh, make sure that everything is correct okay that's it and you can animate your camera or anything that you want Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.